A problem with One Piece. I love One Piece, don't get me wrong, but nothing is perfect. Everything has its flaws, but where is the flaws with One Piece? Well, find out today. My first problem with One Piece is the anime. Now, the anime isn't very good. It had bad animation, terrible pacing. Hell, when Sabo's identity was revealed, they split the chapter it was revealed it in half. There was one episode dedicated to him stealing and eating the flare flare fruit, and the other one was dedicated to him revealing his true faith and true identity, even though we all already knew who he is, because we're not freaking stupid. Now, that's the point. Now, of course, in the manga, it helped the cover page of him pouring Masaki cuts helps. But we still already all probably knew who it was. So it just really blows my mind that they would split the episode in half. It was obviously there and done because of the hype surrounding Sabo's character. And what better to do than have two episodes that are really hype that they'll know people will tune in to watch. Now that is not the only thing the One Piece anime has messed up on the four. It also could have done better on the Gear Force episode. Now, before you come and kill me, I know the Gear Force transformation was done amazingly. It was excellent. However, the first 15 minutes of that episode was completely useless and dragged out as hell. I mean, it just, it just wasn't done well. There were also multiple shots throughout the Dressrosa arc and arc prior to that of really shitty animation. And the most notable scene being a one with Doflamingo hopping through the air during what I believe was his fight with Law. If you type in One Piece Bad Animation, there's actually an extra thing that com comes up. One Piece Bad Animation Doflamingo. And it's these, these shots of Doflamingo and Law and Woody Tora from their fight that are so so bad, it's unbelievable. It wouldn't be such a problem if One Piece wasn't the best thing in Japan at the moment, but it is. So when you see this, you're really blown away by how bad the anime is. It can be good, but it's very rarely good. Now, I need to move on to another thing I don't like about One Piece. But that problem is pacing. Now, in both the manga and the anime, more noticeably in the anime, they all have bad pacing, but if you look at the manga, it's not so much that it's bad, it's that it's inconsistent. Okay, look at Dressrosa, for example. Dressrosa's pacing was terrible. Ask any fan, and they will tell you, but Dressrosa's pacing could have been better. There were times when they, were, when they would spend like half the arc running around. The main reason Zoro didn't just see Pika right away was because Pika was hiding. The pacing just wasn't good, and it really dragged out. The Dressrosa arc did drag out, that is a fact. But the thing is, is that in the anime it's much more noticeable because this is a, in every arc. But if you go on in the manga to the Zo arc, the Zo arc isn't dragging out. In fact, there are points when I would almost say you could consider it being rushed a little bit. It goes incredibly fast. It's like point, point, point. It's to the point and it gets there as quickly as possible. So the pacing is very inconsistent, like we go from from an arc with terrible pacing to an arc with great pacing that is actually so fast, you could say sometimes in some chapters, it's too fast, which is very inconsistent, and I don't like that because it really makes it hard to tell, tell what's going to happen, and that's not always good. Another problem I have with One Piece is that with Oda, at least for me, I either like the character or I despise them. Okay, every character that I don't hate, I can tolerate. I can enjoy them, but certain characters in One Piece, I just despise. I don't just not like them, I hate them. Capping people like Rebecca, I hate Rebecca. I legitimately hate her. When she's on screen, I instantly get annoyed. Like, when I'm watching the anime, I, I was liking the way the episode where Rebecca is about to kill the Yola, I liked, I was actually enjoying it. But then I saw Rebecca, and my hype was gone. My hype was literally gone. Then of course I remembered that Luffy was about to show up, but Rebecca almost made me lose my hype. 
For me, I feel like Oda will either write a character that you're going to love, or you're going to hate. There isn't really in-between with One Piece. Sometimes there is, though, in most characters, you're either going to be like, I love this guy, or fuck this guy. It's kind of like with that with Rido. A lot of people saw Rido that were designed, and were like, fuck Rido. I saw a lot of fuck Rido, he sucks. But then I also saw a lot of people say, I love Rido. I never saw anybody say, I don't really care about Rido. No, it was either I love him, or I hate him. Those are the, there's never really an in-between, from what I've noticed, which can get really annoying. But yeah, I really, I can't think of anything else that I don't like about One Piece. I love this series, and it's amazing. So yeah, I'm going to tell you guys some of the things that I don't like about One Piece. But here they are. Some of the things that I don't like about One Piece. I still love the series, and I'm still going to keep on doing a ton of content. But I'm going to make this video. And remember, to like, comment, and subscribe. And above all else, to have a great day. And tell me what you don't like about One Piece in the comment section down below.